How's it going, everyone? I'm Stoffy Dave, and welcome back to the Sandman. So, we're, if you guys missed the last episode, what we're basically doing here is we're taking it from the perspective of the man himself. However, I have no idea where to get. Okay. The code to enter the sand storeroom is hidden behind this painting. Okay. Okay, that was... Just checking everywhere just to make sure I don't miss anything. What's this? How lovely it is to see children sleeping soundly. I would never want to lose their pure trusting hearts. Let this room be dedicated to those children. Their portraits shall be accompanied by blessings. May their lives be brilliant ones. May they be joyful in the light of day. And sleep peaceful in the dark of night. Aww. So where is the secret memo that it's referring to? Not in there. In fact, I'm pretty sure I never even touched that room. What is this? Things were better then. The world was flat, so day was day everywhere. And everywhere night was night. Night came to all humans at the same time. When was this? I'm pretty sure the world has never been flat. But now what? The world is round. So wherever it's day, on the other side comes night. Nights when everyone slept ceased to be. Okay. I still don't like that thing. I still don't like the cry gel. Snora Flora. Well, I guess. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. Get materials for eternal sleeping sand. Gather pink leaves from peachy tree on lake. Get water from slimy swamp. Catch five truants in dry wood forest. Once collected, go to the sand making room. All right then. That's not what I need. Okay, I can't interact. Wait a minute. Gather pink leaves from PG Tree on Lake. Okay. The lake that's over here? Oh, Salmon, what is it? You want swamp water? Why? My, putting the humans to sleep forever. I'll have to have my fill of ladies' men in the human world before then, I suppose. Sure, you can have all the water you'd like. I'll be off to the human world. I hope I can find some good men. Alright, bye then. Goodbye. Alright, so that's... Got the water from Slimy Swamp. Pink leaves from Peachy Tree on Lake. Is that the lake that the unicorn is at? Pretty sure that's like a frozen lake or something. But it would make the most sense. Let's go check it. Hey! Well, what the? Sam, man, what are you here for? Huh? Here for peachy tree leaves? Sure, take what you like, but what do you need them for? Hmm. Put humans to sleep forever. Hmm. Don't get any ideas, unicorn. Eh? No, I'm not grinning. 
think it'd be inter uh, a good thing. Go for it, Sam. I don't trust you. All right. That's two things down. What's the other? Catch five truants in drywood forest. Okay, so we have to go all the way back to drywood forest. Great. Uh, why am I running errands? I'm just gonna sit here and wait for you to come out. Never mind. I'm gonna come after you instead. That's so weird how it makes you go right and then all of a sudden down. That's so freaking okay, right then down. Alright, well I guess. Takes care of that, I guess. That is everything, right? I don't have to get anything else. Once collected, go to the sand maker room. Yeah, okay. That made sense. Also, it says warp, but I have no idea how to warp. Oh. Oh, that's what that does. Well, that would have been nice to know, but I was dumb and I did it the long way earlier. My computer should not be falling. Okay. Hello, Miss Statue. Okay. That was not originally supposed to match up. Um, let's see. Okay. Put the slimy swamp water in. Eh, excuse me. I didn't get the swamp water, did I? Oh boy. Well, that did not go as I thought it did. I thought I got the swamp water, but default, nope. I can, apparently I have to walk up to it and collect it. Ugh. Gonna make me go back all the way over there again? Pitiful. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. All right. So, first of all, oh, 
Oh, I did not like that sound. I know what it was, but I still didn't like it. Okay, I want to make sure I'm getting this done in the right order. Hold on. Silence for a moment. Just need to move some things. And, okay. So, what order do I have to do this in? Okay, grind the peach tree leaves. I still don't like that sound. Okay. It's getting all bubbly wubbly. All right. Now what? Grind the peach trees. Check the pot and put the sliced shrimps in. Okay. Once it turns green. <laughs> Did I, did I do it? What am I making? Oh. Oh yeah, that might be, mm. I got a bowl. I'm gonna use the bowl here. It's red. This is red. This is gonna be red sand. Because it's red. <laughs> um. Moment of silence for a second. Or did I die in this one? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I, I'm not that smart. I'm not. Not right now. Not ever. Wait, did I already... Yeah, okay, push it. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle the eternal sleep sand. Oh. Can I get some eternal sleep now? Please. How this is spreading across the entire world, I have no idea. I mean, it works though. Hooray, hooray! Let's go see the human world! Um, y'all have fun. I'm gonna get some sleep. Everybody's asleep, Sam, man. Fast asleep and never going to wake up. <laughs> Sam is just like, finally, a moment's rest. Salmon! Oh no no no! Oh no oh no! Some people are, aren't. Uh, some people still aren't asleep. Uh. Oh. Salmon, why are some people awake? Did the sleeping sand not work? Really? They're too sad to sleep? They're too hurt to sleep? They're insomniacs? They have to be put to sleep soon. They must want to sleep. Yeah. Uh. 
Um, what's happening? Hi, Lullaby. Hello, Lullaby. And he's gone. Lullaby is gone. Ah. Oh. Did I write another secret memo or something? Or is this the same one from earlier? Wait for Lullaby to return in the tea room. Okay, let's teleport to the tea room then. And now we wait. There's proof that she's already been involved. Hey, Salmon, sorry to be back so soon, but I messed up. Unicorn got Sophie to find out who I really was. Man, I hate that guy. Then, Sophie asked me to take her here. She'll be at the house soon. I guess that's my job done for now. Might take a while before Sophie can sleep. See ya, Sam, man. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm gonna turn my own volume down a bit. Heads up. It should be down again. It's getting pretty late too for me. Like I can't speak up like I normally do. Actually, because of that. Don't mind the AC. Oops, sorry. Don't mind the AC that's in the background. It's actually not as bad as it usually is, quite frankly. That should be good. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, my volume's actually been down because of how late it is. I like doing horror games pretty late, so... Yeah, if you get some screams out of me, that's probably the loudest you're gonna get. <laughs> I guess that's my job done for now. It might take a while before Sophie can sleep. See you, Sandman. Grown? What has? Oh, you mean David. Yeah, you only know David as a kid. Used to be a cute little boy with fluffy hair. But he's a fine grown up now. Doubt he remembers you, though. Anyway, see. Oh. Oh, that's why he. Oh, my. I was wondering, like, when David said, Why do I recognize that? That's why. Really? I mean, I know di it's. What is the memo we're checking this time? Go receive Miss Grundler so she doesn't wander into danger. First, propel what? Aww. Aww. That's so sweet. I wish I never did any of the bad ends. Now that I'm seeing all like the good he's doing for her, like, man, I feel really bad. That was not the right room. Let's see, where was the? I don't remember. Wait, warp to the. Entrance. Okay. Entrance. I would have been so far off. Okay. Go to the entrance. And go to the kitchen to make a meal. Uh, which one's the kitchen? This one, right? And he's just trying to... Like, he doesn't mean any harm at all. Like... Oh, man. Do I have to, like... 
go find Sophie's in the house by now, I'm betting. Sophie should be in the house. Uh, which means it's long quarter outside his room, which is here, I believe. And then where is Sophie at this point? That's what I'm trying to remember. This door leads to... Oh, uh, right, right. How did you make that, by the way? Huh? Hi. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Sophie? Sophie, Sophie, eat up, eat up. Aw. Food, food, eat up. I mean, I understand. Eat, eat. Eat it, eat it. Chew, chew. This is like the denial. Sam, man, you're not eating? It's okay? Okay. Poor Sandman. What's wrong, Sandman? That's not it? That's not it. Food is really good, Sandman. All the fairies and dust love it. I'm sure Sophie just wants to sleep. So sleepy that she's not hungry. No, she thought it was poisonous. Which it was, but not in the way she thought. You should make her sleep soon. You should make her s Okay, pause for a moment. I just want to make sure I'm caught up with myself here. We might just do this entire opposing end in this episode actually because there's not that much left so the secret memo that was written what did you just write i should have one sack of sand left in the sand making room it's a pity she wouldn't eat the meal i made for her but i have to put miss grundler to sleep quickly now what am i doing Teleport. Oh, which room? Ah. Uh. Oh. No, that wasn't right. You blocked it from inside now. Oh, so I, okay, I get it. All right. Unicorn from getting any further. Okay, where is it? Oh, get the pink. Okay, I don't know where I am or where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm lost. Uh, oh, this has to be it actually. No, yeah, because you go left. Oh, God, this again. Oh, this is hurting my brain. Like always. The 
door to a sleeping sand storeroom. The jewels on the panel must be pressed in a certain order to open the door. Are you kidding me? I have to get... Oh. My brain hurts. Okay. Let's see, gonna go to the sand making room for si a sack of sleeping sand making room. Not. This is my brain. I have my ah. Uh. That wasn't right. Oh my god. This room, I guess. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Into the world map. Um, okay, medicine storage. What? Oh my gosh. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Secret memo, go after Sophie. Where can Miss Gunner be? She must want to sleep right away. I have to look for her. Um, my stick is gone. Where'd my stick go? This is going to be one of those longer episodes just because there's not much to this side of it. Which is nice to see, but... And now we've seen that end of it. Huh? Sophie was hiding in fear? Is she scared of you, Sandman? Yep. But Sophie's not scared of us. So she can't be scared of Sandman. Sandman? Oh no, no. Unicorn asked Sophie for a pink jewel. He said he'd give her something for it. Ah, uh, boy. You don't have a pink jewel? You already gave it back to the owner? The unicorn told Sophie he'd kill her if she could. Oh, I get the beating now. What do we do, Sandman? Time to go beat the living hell out of that unicorn. That makes so much more sense. That makes so much more sense now. Go beat the hell of the unicorn, right? Okay. Outside invention. No, no, no. Jewel room. So let's see. So. Oh, go to his room, go to his bedroom. I get so lost in all this. my brain so that's how that happened oh well now we know Sophie's been here <laughs> well Dashi's been here uh I 
read this already. Get the pink paints for the canvas in Sandman's room. Can I teleport to my room? Oh, yep. yep. Got pink paints. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Okay, what am I doing this time? I'm going by the book, literally. I wonder if Miss Grunler successfully fooled the unicorn. I'm worried. I'll go check. I'm looking at his error to keep unicorn from getting any further. Oh. So I'm gonna guess I have to go to the... Oh. Hi. Hi. Jeez, what's your... Ah, it's a salmon. What? I'm not giving the jewel back. Look, Sophie gave it to me. This is none of your business. Oh my. Eeks, sorry. Alright, I'll give it back. Stop hitting me. How you could tell, I have no idea. Okay. Oi, Sandman. Can I talk to you for a sec? Huh? Going to return the jewel to Sophie? Hold on. I gotta talk with you first. It's important. What? What are we talking about? Huh, so that's what's going on. Guess you really want to put us to sleep. Yeah, but it's for her ben- Honestly, with what's going on with her, I think it's more for her benefit in a good way rather than bad. But hey, Sandman, Sophie's scared of you, you know? Didn't go chasing her, did you? Uh-oh. <sighs> Come on, you dunce. We look disgusting from a human perspective. Of course a girl like her is going to be scared. So did you tell Sophie? Tell her proper how you want to make her sleep? Didn't? Didn't, did you? Why not? Sophie wouldn't know why you're chasing her. She doesn't understand those words you, know, you use. I mean, sheesh. Even I don't always get those most rationalistic and logistic of those words. Y you welcomed her with your cooking? Our food's poison to humans. How in the world did you forget that, you big buffoon? Yeah, Sophie's scared of you. Doesn't know why you're doing any of this. Listen, you gotta tell her your intents. Forgot her human language? Ugh. <sighs> Some researcher of the human mind. So you don't know what Sophie's saying either. I told this to Sophie, and I'll tell you too. Expect an understanding without saying a word's naive. You gotta let them know how you feel. Or she finds out. Any rate, you get, you get that you gotta talk to her, so you know what you gotta do. Oh. And I won't stop either of you. Fairies are friends to kids, but you're a fellow fairy. 
I'll just watch to see which wave it falls. There are two particular ways to go about this, good and bad end. I'm gonna get the bad end before the good. What was the memo? And we're doing this all in this episode. This will be the final episode of the series. I can't believe my foolishness. I haven't told Miss Grunler my intentions, but I've forgotten humans' languages. I'll go to the human world and get a book I can study. First, I need to visit the Tooth Fairy. Oh, jeez. All right, fine. Like, and he means well, so it's like... This is interesting to see, though. Like, the more I see this end of the story, the worse I feel about the situation. Oh my gosh. Hey, Tooth Fairy. Hey, Simon. Got some business? You want money? No, no, no. Good. These coins are for the kitties, you know. You want to buy something in the human world? Ah, why should I care? You're not having my coins. But what? You'll make me tarabit ter eye soup? <laughs> alright, fine. <laughs> alright, alright, take your coins, but you will make me that soup. Apparently I will. How do I go to the human world, though? Alright, so I'm going to Sandman's room now. Jeez, this is going back and forth. This sounds, it feels more like errands than anything else. Well, I mean, I guess that's technically what it is. World of an adult man. Okay, so long corridor? No. Outside invention room? Yes. No. There we go. Bed. You can go to the human world by get what? Sure. That makes sense. The book lays on the floor. That's cool. Um... Language books. Got an English study book. All right. I'm not gonna steal. There you go. Let's just climb into the bed with him. This is totally normal. All right, we're almost done. We're going to finish this up, see both ends, and then be done. This will probably be one, the last of the extensive episodes, but this will be the last episode, so it has to be extensive. All right, prepare a letter to Sophie. There are literally two things left to do, and I don't even need to, well, I'll look at the memo just in case, but basically, Leave the letter in front of the door and go up to the roof. Yeah. We're almost done. Long corridor. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going... I can't save. I can't... S the door to the rooftop. It's dangerous with all the holes, so it's gone unused. I know what it says. Alright, 
Go to one corner and use the key on the door. Oh, I'm smart. Okay. Win the, okay, so in this case, you win the battle for the bad end and you lose it for the good. Please let me save. Please let me save before we do this. Sandman. Hi, Sophie. It's hard not being able to sleep, right? I understand. I've been suffering the same way. Okay, so this is going off the good end. Well, obviously. Really, I'd want to be put to sleep too. I've wondered how good it would be to forget all the bad things and sleep. But I don't want to sleep forever. I, I want to wake up, even if it might be a bad day. Poor girl. I'm sorry, I can't understand Salmon, but this is the only thing I can do. Good. Let's me save. Good. Alright, let's do it. We're gonna do the bad end first. Sorry, Sophie. I'm an idiot. No, okay, okay, I guess we're getting the other end first. Did she just kill me? Oh no, she put me to sleep, good. Animations look way too similar. Okay, okay. So we just got the good end, accidentally. Much better. You got the sleep you just so desired. Everyone got what they wanted, right? <laughs> well, now you gotta do the wake up sand. Maybe I'll do the bad end. I don't know. I definitely need to do this end at least. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm watching this now. Oh, that's okay. That's clever. That's clever. What does the diary say? Miss Grundler's adorable sleeping face and her smile radiant as the sun made me remember. Why do I put people to sleep in the first place? Because I love to see humans sleep, to see those people sleeping peaceful, their faces brimming with hope for tomorrow. I was wrong to take away that hope with eternal sleep. She said to me that she wants to wake up, even if it's a bad day. Who am I to steal the away waking from her? For I am the Sandman, very who grants humans joy and sleep. Ye woke her, ye woke up the humans? Got a good few centuries of rest, huh? Guess you won't do that again, will ye? Ye that too. Wasn't all bad, I suppose. Made a time stopping machine if you ever need that. 
you get tired of work, you can stop time and take a nap. You are sleeping right now. You are sleeping now, right? What? You can't sleep again? Now why is that? After settling things in Sophie? Hmm. Hey, don't tell me. Oh please, ugly fairy like you and a cutie like her never happened. Oh my gosh, he has a crush on her. <laughs> hmm. Aww. Not gonna listen, are you? Always the same with you, you doofus. <laughs> eh? Sandman for Sophie? <laughs> oh, that's rich. What's that old coot thinking? Got mad about Sophie's pink jewel, too? <laughs> Funny watching a serious guy like him fall head over heels like that. Can have a lot to talk about. And he's gotten, and he's not getting any sleep again. More to worry about. Oh, leave him be. It's wonderful being sleepless and in love. Certainly healthier than sleepless from overwork. Yeah. But you know, he never gave Sophie back her jewel. So what? Sophie can't. S Sophie can sleep again thanks to that. Maybe he should keep it a while. Right, right. Too soon for that little squirt. She's lonely, so it'd be all kinds of weird. Ought to keep it till she's a little older. Simon's no fool. Things will settle down, and he'll give it back. What's gonna happen? Happy and wait. Ha oh, because this is the. I get it. Okay. Welcome back, Insomnia. Congratulations on beating the bonus scenario. Here you can view character profiles and more. And again, thank you. Um, just so you guys know, I did show off the credits for this game. However, that happens. That happened two episodes ago. We're gonna go ahead and. Oh yeah, don't save. We're going to go to the title and get the bad end really quick, and then that will end the series. <sighs> Hopefully I know a bit more what I'm doing this time. There we go. Okay, bad end coming. No, 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 if, if I fall asleep, everyone will. Can't sleep, I can't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep, don't, don't, don't. Mama? Mama, Papa, help, I don't want to sleep. If I sleep, no one will be able to wake up. Somebody help me. Mama. Pop. Pop. Sandman, Sophie finally fell asleep. Why do I feel like that's not a good thing? But doesn't she look really sad? Why is that? Is she having a nightmare? Is that why she looks hurt? She'll keep having a nightmare. She'll never wake up again. Uh oh. Oh no. I 
I did it bad. Well, we're ending on a bad note because that was the last end of the game. Oh, jeez. I did a real bad. That took us about 50 minutes to do, too. Wow. That makes sense for an ending of a series, right? Anyway, once again, credibility to all the creators who did this, uh, who helped create this game. Once again, as I mentioned before, I do show off the credits of this. It's in episode 11, I believe. That or episode 10. Whichever one I ended up getting the good end of the main campaign on. But I do show credit to them, and like as requested by the group themselves, and as well as the whole aspect that I really do think they did a great job with this. I'm actually looking forward to The Boogeyman, which is the next game in the series. However, it's going to be a while before I get to that. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I'll do it at some point. But for right now, I'm going to leave this series here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And if you missed any of the episodes prior, or if you watched any of the episodes prior, I mean, thank you for watching those as well. If you liked this series or this episode just in general, make sure to push that like button. And so far you can't see it anymore. Uh, if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. As I, uh, as I kind of shown by now, I kind of do all these kind of classic horror stuff all the time. Whether it's RPGs like this game, or 3D type game, I don't know. If you do have a suggestions for a horror game you'd like to see me do, let me know in the comments below. Or want to check out one that I've done prior to this game? It'll be across my head here. This game, however, will be in the top right hand corner. In the meantime. I'll head out, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!